Stars are born, grow up, and then... Then what? Do they die? Do they slip quietly into the night, or go out with a bang? Somewhere between here and the edge of the universe lies the answer. Nearly 4,000 light years further, luminous clouds suspended in space, encircling what was once a star like our own sun. All that's left of it are these brightly colored gases. Elements formed by nuclear fusion deep inside the star, released into space on its death. Green and violet, hydrogen and helium, the raw materials of the universe. Red and blue, nitrogen and oxygen, the building blocks of life on Earth. For us to live, stars like this had to die. The oxygen in our lungs, the nitrogen in our DNA. It was all produced by nuclear fusion in stars that died long before the Earth was even born. We are made of stellar nuclear waste. Our family tree begins here. At its heart, the ghost of a star. It's a white dwarf. White, hot, small, but unbelievably dense. In the star's dying moments, its atoms fused and squeezed together, making it so dense that just a teaspoon of this white dwarf would weigh one ton. It's a chilling premonition of our sun's fate. Six billion years from now, it'll become a white dwarf. Its death will herald the end of life on Earth. It makes you wonder how many other worlds have been and gone. Stories left untold. Celestial books lost forever. But the greatest story of them all is still to be told. We must go back through time to the very first chapter to tell the story of how the universe began. scattered remains of a dead star, a nebula, the Crab Nebula. We're 6,000 light years from home, deep inside a stellar graveyard. We've learned so much, seen things we'd never have believed possible. Now sights like this, wonders once beyond imagination, we take in our stride. We're ready, ready to face whatever lies ahead, determined to reach the edge of the universe. It looks dead, but maybe this is just the calm after the storm, after a massive explosion, powerful enough to turn a huge star into a cloud of dust and gas, a supernova. Eye of the storm, a spinning, pulsating star, a pulsar. Gravity must have squeezed the giant star's core down to this. It's just 20 kilometers across, unimaginably dense. One pinhead of this would weigh hundreds, maybe millions of tons. As it shrank, 
like a figure skater spinning on the spot, arms outstretched, then pulling them in. It began to spin faster. Two beams of light, energy, radiation, spinning 30 times a second, powering the huge cloud of dust and gas. There's so much radiation here, more even than on the sun. 